What is going on, beautiful people? Welcome to another episode of The Narcissist Code. I'm your favorite self-aware narcissist, Mr. Lee Hammock, better known as mental illness across all social media platforms. If this is your first time seeing my face or hearing my voice, I'm a diagnosed narcissist and I use my platform on social media to raise awareness for NPD, get more people into therapy, and also validate the victims, survivors, and thrivers of said disorder. Today's episode is going to be uh, asking the question, uh, can narcissists cry real tears? <laughs> <laughs> um, I see this question a lot in my comment sections across all my social media platforms, like like literally across all my social media platforms. I see it like can narcissists cry real tears? Can do, do, do narcissists fake cry and things like that? Like I, I need to know. I, I was like, look, y'all, when y'all ask questions like can narcissists cry real tears is like you saying the narcissistic person isn't uh, like a human being. Can some narcissists fake tears? Yes, absolutely, yeah. But most narcissistic people, toxic people, whatever, can actually cry real tears. They they really, they really, really can. I can, <clears throat> me personally, I definitely can cry real tears. I've cried real tears. I just don't cry very often. And then I think that it might be true for a lot of narcissists as well, but they don't, we can cry tears, but we don't cry very often because just in my mind, how my mind works, Sometimes I view crying as a form of weakness. Is is not weakness. Not you know, a lot of narcissistic people view vulnerability as weakness. So crying is a sign of vulnerability. So crying e equals weakness to some people like that in the mindset. So some narcissistic people will just suck back their tears. It's like they they get ready to cry. Like the tear be just leaking down their eye, and then all of a sudden sucks right back into it. <laughs> Suck it right back into the eye and things like that. And the tears go away. So can narcissists cry real tears? Yes, absolutely. They can cry real tears. But I need people to ask this question right here. Why are they crying? Like, why are they crying? I just like, wh what are they crying for? Who are they crying for? What are the tears really for in this circumstance, in this situation right here? Are they really crying? Like, and a lot of times you'll see them crying when you get ready to leave them or something like that, when you get ready to break up with them or if you catch them cheating or you catch them in a lie, a huge lie, or, you know, you, know I mean? you catch them in something, uh, you catch them in a doing something bad, bad enough, to, or it's a divorceable offense or a breakup, something where that that's, you can break up over, you know? And when you get ready to leave, hey, I'm leaving you. They'll boohoo cry. And they'll, look, ask yourself this question right here, y'all. Who are they crying for? Are they crying because they actually hurt your feelings? Because they feel so bad for what they did to you? And they just really, really, it hurts them so badly that they hurt you and they can't, you know, they, they want to make up for it and they want to spend. Or, 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 are they crying for themselves? <clears throat> because me personally, I think a lot of narcissists cry when they boohoo cry. They're crying for themselves. When you catch them doing something and they boohoo cry and threaten to, sometimes they'll threaten to take their own, take their own, to end their own existence. They'll be boohoo crying, doing craziness on the floor, you know, snot coming from their nose, farting, just ears leaking. It just like eyes, it just rolling in the dirt, pulling out their hair, hitting themselves. You know, ask yourself, who is this reaction for? Who are those tears for? You know what I mean? It, it might not even be real tear. It might it might not even be real tear fluid. It might just be like eye water. <laughs> eye water. Eye water. It's not even real tears, y'all. It's eye water. But ask yourself that question: Who are they crying for? What are they crying for? Why are they crying? Because typically, when they, the narcissistic person isn't going to cry for someone else, they might not. They might not even cry when somebody in their family family passes away, their dog passes away, their cat passes away. They might not even cry for that. But once you catch them cheating or doing something and you try to leave them, here come the waterworks. And ask yourself, y'all, and look at like genuinely look at their face. Look at their face and ask yourself, are, are they crying for real? Because a lot of narcissists, like I said, can fake cry. They'll just give all the emotions that they're crying or they're trying to hold back tears or whatever or that they're really hurt, really hurting. And some of them will actually cry, but they're not crying for you. That's what I'm saying. They're not crying for you. Ask yourself, well, who are they crying for? What are they crying for? You know, you, you, you have to. You have to ask yourself, what are they crying for? Who are they crying for? 
you have to ask yourself that question right there because typically they're crying for themselves because their life their life is ruined they've ruined their own life their life like you're going to leave them their life as they know it is over not like it's not going to end and they're going to heaven or hell it's over in this current state like you're going to break up with them they all have to if y'all living together you know if y'all living together, y'all might have to go your separate ways or whatever. You might have to co-parent. They might have to see you with somebody else. They're crying for themselves. You know what I mean? They're crying because they, you know, so can they control it, what they did? Sometimes, maybe, maybe, maybe they're not. But a lot of times, y'all, they're absolutely crying for themselves. They're not crying because, oh, my goodness, I hurt you so badly, and I just can't live like this. They are literally crying because they are their, their life is upside down. Now, their life is flipped, turned upside down. Shout out to the Fresh Prince of Bel Air for that one. But they are crying for that, y'all. So you have to ask yourself, and you have to continue to ask yourself that right there. You literally have to. You know what I mean? Yeah, because like, and don't fall for the fake tears, y'all. Don't fall for tears anyway. If they've done something horrible to you, are they sorry? Are they genuinely sorry? Or have their actions proved that they're sorry? No. Just because they cry doesn't mean that they're sorry, y'all. Just because they have real tears running down their face doesn't mean they're sorry. The tear, those are lying tears, y'all. Those, 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 like if you if you dip your finger in the tear, and lick it, it doesn't have that salt water taste the real tear has. It tastes like like um, <laughs> it tastes like uh like Sprite. <laughs> it tastes like a crisp Sprite. You like you dip your finger in their tear and you lick it. You're like, now you crying Sprite? <laughs> because it's not yeah it's a real tear but they're not crying because they hurt you they're not crying because of what they did to you they're not hitting themselves for what they put you through they're doing it because you found out and it's, they probably they might be embarrassed and now they have to hold themselves account now, now you're trying to hold them accountable they're crying because the accountability hurts y'all they really really are so as i just say like you have to get like you have to be able to be ready to deal with it like you yourself have to be ready to take to take that step up. You like don't fall for the tears, y'all, because if you fall for the tears, they're gonna get you. I promise you, they're gonna get you. They're gonna manipulate the hell out of you. They're gonna they're just going to mess with your mind, like a lot of narcissistic people do. They're gonna mess with your mind. They're gonna mess with your head, and they're gonna keep you there. Don't let those tears like tears don't mean that they're sorry, y'all. I know y'all see tear people. A lot of people see tears, especially if, if, if the tears are coming from a man. Y'all see tears from a man. It's just like oh my goodness, you know what I mean. You're crying. I know if a man cries, they really mean it. No, no, no. Don't fall for a man's tears because a lot of sometimes if they like, are they crying like in a movie? Are y'all crying at a movie together? Like, oh, this movie is so sweet. Or are the, do the tears only come out when you try to hold them accountable, when they've messed up? The tears are for themselves, not because of what they did to you. The tears are absolutely 100% for themselves, y'all. So you have to stay in power. Don't fall. Off, don't take the bait. Don't take the tear bait. You know, stay in power. Like and subscribe for more. And uh, so uh, before, I, before I go, y'all, um, I say I have. No, that's it. Like and subscribe for more. And as always, mental illness is out. Peace.